Good afternoon, world. <laughs> so I'm reading this uh, book about uh, notorious rock stars. And I don't know, it just kind of hit me about communication and sarcasm and Zen Buddhism. I don't know, it just all came together. And what I got to say is um, <clears throat> the thing about sarcasm is that there's this meanness under it. And I used to be a lot more blunt than I am now. Um, and there's this anger below it that you're not really expressing in a clear way. I know because uh, if you're on the other side of somebody saying something sarcastic, it's cloaked in this, uh, this meanness that isn't really direct, it's derogatory. Um, and it's not really communicating how you feel or, or something that really is direct. Um, so you're communicating in this way that doesn't leave the other person with a good taste in their mouth. Um, one time I was saying something to my sister and she said something about me being angry and I was like, oh, what, I'm not angry. And it's like, yeah, I was. It bubbles up from sarcasm. Anyway, Pema Chodron, that wonderful Buddhist teacher, who was a student of one of my favorite Buddhist teachers, Tibetan Buddhist, um, Trungpa Chuk, oh, I can't think of his name, Trungpa. Anyway, you know who I'm talking about. He was the first Tibetan teacher to leave Tibet to come to the West. And uh, he was pretty, pretty cool. He got out of his robes and wore a suit and wrote a lot of books and Trungpa, you know who I'm talking about. Anyway, <laughs> she says, um, you know, you're not on solid ground. And I love that because it's like, that's the thing about communicating. You're not always on solid ground. You're taking a chance to really be clear about what you communicate. And it's not always easy, but what else is there? Because if you're just gonna be angry and sarcastic and not really clear in your delivery of what you're thinking and feeling, then how do you really connect with people? So I say, um, and this is from, uh, this is what I learned living two months in a Theravada Buddhist temple in rural Thailand where no one spoke English and I was teaching the master meditation master English man did he learn fast and he was amazing what I learned from him is he was this incredible force of nature and learned as I said English lightning fast he would know what I'm thinking about without me telling him <laughs> um, but what I learned was he was gentle as a lamb but when he wanted to say something direct it would it was direct as hell <laughs> well hell is maybe it it was direct like a, a knife cutting you know like there was no you didn't wonder what he meant that's what I meant so he wasn't afraid to say anything. I mean, um, I gotta go back and see him. He's one of my teachers and I learned a lot from him. I learned that we think too much and we just fantasize about what's gonna happen, but it has nothing to do with reality. <laughs> so, thought for the day communicate clearly. It's a practice. Um, tell me your thoughts about uh, how you communicate clearly and what you've experienced. Hey, and thank you for all of the likes and subscribes and shares. Um, let me know what you want me to do a video about and I will do it. Have a beautiful day.